السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ وعلى آلہ و اصحاب اجمعین و منتبی ہم بھی احسان علیہ الدین ام آباد ٹوڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر اے بینیفیشل اسٹوری فرام دا سیلف آف دا سما اینڈ دا سورس آف دا اسٹوری از ایز یو کین سی فرام دا ویب سائٹ ابو خدیجہ ڈاٹ کام and this is translated by them the story is about a group from the salaf a group from the scholars of the past who found a man upon an island worshipping an idol and they did da'wah to him and this was narrated by imam ibn qudama al-maghdisi rahimahullah So let's look into the story. It's a very beautiful story, Alhamdulillah. Ibn Qudam al-Maqdisi mentioned from Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd who said, So Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd is the one who narrated this. He said, We were upon a ship and we were overtaken by a strong wind towards an island. So we disembarked the ship and found a man there worshipping an idol. So Abdul Wahid ibn Zayd, Rahimahullah, They were upon a ship and the ship turned topsy-turvy because of a storm on the sea. So they went towards an island. The ship banked and drifted towards an island. So they got on the ship and they went on in the island and they found that there was a man who was alone and who was worshipping an idol. So they came to him, this man, and they said, O oh person, what are you worshipping? So that man, he pointed towards the idol. So those people said, the Muslims, they said to him, there is, there is with us on the ship a man who does the same. That is, he also does idol worship. But this is not a God to be worshipped. They told there is someone just like you in our ship, but this idol is not something that is to be worshipped. So that idol worshipper who was on the island, he said, who do you worship? These people said, we worship Allah. And they asked. That is, the idol worshipper asked, and who is Allah? And these people said, the one whose throne is above the heavens, and upon the earth is his dominion. And he, his decree, his qadr, it rules over the living and the dead. The proper translation here probably means, he has power, over the living and the dead. So he just told that Allah is the one whose throne is above the arsh, above the heavens, and he has a lead a rulership over the earth and the over the earth, and he has power, he has his qadr over the living and the dead. And uh, this idol worshipper said, and how did you come to know him? Like, how did you get to know about Allah? So the Muslims told to him that the mighty king and exalted creator that is they're saying that Allah that describing Allah and saying that the mighty king and the exalted creator he sent to us an honorable messenger and he informed us that is Allah sent them a messenger Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he informed them he informed them that Allah is there then the idol worshipper asked And what did the messenger do? Like what did that messenger do which Allah sent? The Muslims replied, He fulfilled the message and then Allah took him to himself with death. So he said that he did his da'wah, he fulfilled his message and he went back to Allah by dying. So the idol worshipper said, So he did not leave you with a sign? Did, not, did he not leave you with the... Uh, something which shows that Allah is there or something like that with a sign with the proof of Allah so the Muslim said yes of course that is the messenger of Allah left something as a sign so then he asked the idol worshipper asked what did he leave you with like did Allah give you anything and then what is that so the Muslims answered he left us with a book from the king that is uh, 
the Prophet ﷺ was given the Quran from Allah. So this man said, so this man, the idol worshipper said, show me this book of the king, because surely the book of the kings are the most excellent. He said, show me this book, show me this uh, Quran that you have, because the books of the kings, they are the best. So he wanted to see, what is this book of Allah? So, the Muslims, they gave him a mushaf, they gave him a copy of the Quran. So this idol worshipper said, I don't know this. Like, I, I cannot understand this or he cannot read this. So the Muslims, they read out to him. The Muslims read out to him, recited to him a surah from the Quran. Then the Muslims, as they recited, this idol worshipper, he started crying. And as they read more, he cried more and they completed reciting the surah that they were reciting. Then the idol worshipper said, Subhanallah, this is the Quran, it moved the heart of the idol worshipper when he heard and he understood the Quran. The idol worshipper said, It is obligatory that the one who spoke these words is not disobeyed. Then he accepted Islam. And these people, these Muslims, they taught him the laws of Islam and the chapters from the Quran. And now they took him along with them on the ship. Now this whole party, all of these people, all of these people, they travelled. And when they were travelling, it was uh, night time. And every person went back to his bed. So then, this man, the new Muslim, we'll call, I'll call him the new Muslim now because he's not an idol worshipper, right? Now this new Muslim, he asked the Muslims, O oh people, this God that you have guided me to, okay, that you have made me a Muslim, so this Allah that you have guided me to, when night comes, does Allah sleep? So the Muslim said, No, O oh servant of Allah, He is ever living, self-sufficient, that the creations, the people depend upon, rely upon, the mighty who does not sleep. So they told him that uh, something like, yeah, he, Allah does not sleep, Allah is the most powerful, ever living, self-sufficient, Allah is not weak, he does not need sleep. So the idol worshipper uh, who had accepted Islam now, this new Muslim, he said to the Muslims, what by worshippers you are, you sleep while your guardian, your protector does not sleep. So this, uh, this new Muslim, he said, like, what kind of bad people you are, you are sleeping and when Allah is awake. So, this uh, new Muslim, he started worshipping at night and he left the, what you say, the Muslims alone. He, was, he worshipped Allah in a corner on the ship. Now they reached their land. Now they reached their destination and uh, the Muslims the one who is narrating the story he said to his companion the one who is narrating the story he said to his companion this person is new to Islam and a stranger in this land that is he's saying he is implying that he is a new person he has just accepted Islam he is a stranger so let's collect some money for him so these Muslims they gathered some dirhams for him and they gave it to him when they gave it to this new Muslim he said what is this what is this? So the Muslim said, spend it to fulfill your needs. So the new Muslim said, La ilaha illallah, there is no deity worthy of worship, worship except Allah. I was on islands in the ocean worshipping an idol besides Allah and Allah did not leave me. Allah did not abandon me. So will he abandon me while I now know him? So this man he said that first he said La ilaha illallah he was shocked. Then he said when I was in the islands not worshipping Allah and worshipping an idol Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not leave me alone. Allah did not keep me hungry. Allah did not keep me thirsty. So now when I am worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leave me alone? So he did not take the money from them. Then he left to earn his own keep that is he started earning living in the Muslim lands, earning for himself and then after that, he 
he was from the greatest of the pious ones until he died he was from the best people of that place till he died recorded by ibn qudama al maqdisi in page 179 of uh, the book which is in arabic at tawabin okay so you can see the reference of this uh, uh, story the translation of the story from abu khadija.com as well so subhanallah my dear brothers you can see that this person who was worshiping idols was sincere he really wanted to worship allah subhanahu wa taala so he was uh, misguided he thought idol worship is true but when allah subhanahu wa taala guided him his tawakkul and reliance upon allah was very strong and very firm may allah subhanahu wa taala guide all of us to have a strong tawakkul and reliance upon allah subhanahu wa taala another thing that we understand from the story is that if your heart really desires to follow the religion of allah subhanahu wa taala if you are really sincere to follow the religion of allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala will make ways for the truth to reach you let's say if you are some let's say if there is an idol worshiper somewhere in the middle of the ocean without any human beings ever visiting him but he sincerely wanted to worship allah subhanahu wa taala and because of that he used to worship the sun moon trees and the t- stars searching for allah subhanahu wa taala allah would make the truth reach him and he would accept islam and this is very evident many times okay now there can be a case where the truth does not reach someone who is sincere allah subhanahu wa taala is the one who will judge them according to his justice but generally if people are sincere if people are truthful if they really wish to seek the paradise of allah subhanahu wa taala and not follow follow their desires by allah's will and wish allah subhanahu wa taala will guide them to the truth may allah subhanahu wa taala bless all of us please do worship uh, in these days of dhul hijja and in the class here subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu